Fun fact, that is why I have Brad on my speed dial. <laughs> all right, let's give it up one more time for all the fantastic open minders this evening. Now, as we are getting settled and everything rearranged, we are going to bring up one more comic for the evening. He is also one of my favorite people. Uh, he says his, but his comedy is vanilla. I say it's a little tutti fruity. Please help me welcome <laughs> Brian Wells. <laughs> out with somebody one time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Um, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for staying to the very end. I really appreciate it. Um, guys, I'm going to uh, polish some old material. Uh, this was inspired by my one of my great mentors, Mr. Brad Miller. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> so, I'm going to have my notes, so forgive me. Um, guys, do you think that dogs have a name for us? So, I'm a Brian, I have a dog named Tux, because he's black, white, and handsome. <laughs> but, uh, but does he know that I'm a Brian? Or does he think I'm a David? Or is it some sort of like weird dog brainwave sound like, woof, 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 work, work, boom, ooh. Like, I would never know that's Brian. Um, or maybe he must be something like really weird, like Lousy Bottom. Um, <laughs> but I was at Chipotle the other day, I was at Chipotle the other day, and this girl, she had a hickey, like, right here. And number one, I was totally jealous of the action. Number two, I was like, who is still doing this? And then three, like, you look like a piece of bruised fruit. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that's my dog's name for me, bruised fruit. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of dogs, are there any dog people out there? Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, I don't think that I'm alone in this. Like. Whether you're going to get it on by yourself or with somebody else, dogs should not be in the room, correct? Yeah. Correct! They should not be in the room. I always tell my little angel, when the circus is in town and it's time to clown, you got to make my patty walk out of here because i got to give a whole bone. <laughs> <laughs> because I say things like this, because this is the type of parent that I am, um, my dog is weird, and I, I just, I know that he slut shames me, I know that he judges me, and it's just, it's really weird because I, I'm a responsible dog dad, he's been fixed, but we have talked about the birds and the bees because there are some real bitches out there, and, and, I, and I don't judge his relationship with my couch cushions, I just, I didn't, I don't know, I don't know how I raised an animal that would slut shame or kink shame. Um, in our home, we have two rules about kinks, okay? Rule number one, don't knock it till you try it. I, I am not in the feet, but I can respectfully keep them out of my mouth. And when I look out into this room, I, I don't see a room full of diaper play, but for those of you who are, boo boo gag hashtag I see you. Rule number two, rule number two, if you are not willing to go to the emergency room and explain what happened, don't do that. <laughs> because no healthcare professional is gonna believe you when you say, well, I don't know, I don't know. There, anybody in the healthcare industry? No, okay, that's fine. But they're not gonna believe you, and I'm sorry. When two grown men show up to the ER, and one has a Hot Wheel track coming out of his ass, and the other one is choking on a toy tire, that is not the Grand Prix, that's ass car. <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited about self-driving cars. I'm a really distracted driver. I was driving the other day and uh, there was a sign at this dentist's office. Dentists are sensitive. They have feelings. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that's cute. They misspelled feelings. I would have spelled it S-A-T-A-N-I-C. Satanic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, you know, that, that got a good reaction, and I'm keeping it because as I've been workshopping that bit, I spell out the word satanic, and did I? Uh, okay, sorry. I spell out the word satanic, and before I could even say satanic, the friend that I was workshopping with, she paused, she looked at me, and she said, "Santana Ice," <laughs> and that is my new alias. So when she goes south, it's Santana Ice. Okay, so. Um, 
On a serious note, uh, can we all agree that the flute is the gayest instrument? <laughs> like, it's a long, hard shaft that should blow, okay? And I mean, and you don't even like, you actually don't even put the reed in your mouth. You just like, tease it a little bit. Like, it's, <laughs> like what, I'm, what I'm assuming is like playing with the clitoris. <laughs> uh, and I know what you guys are thinking right now. You're like, how does that gay homosexual motherfucker know <laughs> what, a, no, what a vagina is? You guys. <laughs> I came out of a vagina before I came out of the closet. So I've seen one. I looked over my shoulder and peeked. So I, you know, but, you know, but I just want all of you straight people to know that I have actually saved the life of a vagina once. Me, I'm a hero. So I was having dinner with some girlfriends and my one girlfriend, um, how do I put this delicately? She, she thought her boyfriend was cheating on her because her Pocahontas was having some different colors of the wind. And I, you know, so I was like, you know, so that's sad. And instead of going to the doctor, she was putting garlic cloves up there. And I'm like, oh, go to the doctor. Like, are you trying to fight gonorrhea or Dracula, Abraham Van Helsing? Like, what are you doing? And then my other girlfriend was like, Brian, calm down. She's gonna know if she puts it up her butthole. She's only got two holes. Uh, ma'am, you have three. You got a loaf cutter, you got a juicer, and you got pee refills. And I'm like, hey, and you guys, there I was. <laughs> Brian Wells, WebMD, teaching sex ed and female anatomy at the Olive Garden. So. <laughs> but guys, this is about the flute. This is about the flute. I just, we need a name for the flute to match its peak gayness. So, um, Trombone is taken. French horn, whoo, French horn, you fist that all the way up to your elbow. Um, I think what we've really learned here is like the flute could be a relationship, but the French horn, that's, that's a weekend where you can't walk. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna call the flute man whistle from now on. So um, I think you guessed right now that I am single. And I, I was at Home Goods the other night and I was shopping by myself and the cashier was like, stay out of trouble, stay out of trouble. Ma'am, it's a Saturday night and I'm at home goods alone. I'm in trouble. You know, like, I'm in trouble. If there is an opportunity for dick, I'll be dick. So, speaking of opportunities, um, the Mishawaka Police Department had a career fair. Don't you guys think I'd make the best cop? Like, I'd be an amazing cop. This, this was my audition. I mean, my interview. My interview. My interview. <laughs> Do you guys feel safe? Yeah. <laughs> guys, if you did not like my material tonight, I am Santana Ice. But <laughs> otherwise, I'm Brian Wells. Thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. I had a fun time. Did you have a fun time? Yeah. Well, that's what I love to hear. Make sure when you get home, you tell everybody on all of your